Because you know what? The brutal fucking truth, no matter how much you pine for something, you can't change your beginnings. Have you ever felt like you're just not enough? Jesus, I have. My entire life was plagued by this feeling that I just wasn't worthy, that I wasn't good enough. I'd look at other people just desperate to have their life, desperate to replicate what they did in the hope that I would suddenly feel worthy. Then, this year, for the first time ever, I think I overcame it. And surprisingly, the solution was not where I thought to look. A few years ago, I noticed that my hair had started to thin, that it had begun to recede. I know it sounds superficial, but it really did cause me a great load of pain. I'd always said that if I lost my hair, I'd just go bald gracefully, that I'd embrace it, that I wouldn't mind, that that was bullshit. From the moment I noticed it, it became an obsession. Every time I looked in the mirror, I'd stare at the follicles to see if there was any change. Then I'd look longingly at other blokes my age, or even older, with beautifully coiffed hair, and feel terribly envious. It created so much more tension inside me than I ever thought it would. But, but what could I do about it? I wasn't them, I didn't have their genetics, and I didn't want to spend money on expensive medical treatments. So, I decided to shave it. An experiment of sorts. Embrace the bald look for a little bit, and see where it took me. What's funny is these days, I get compliments on my hair, or <laughs> lack thereof. It's unique, and so far, it seems to work. I never got that when I had hair, so go figure. But it did make me wonder, what if I applied this attitude to all parts of my life? What if I met myself where I was, flaws and all, and just decided to accept them? Moreover, what if I decided to embrace the good and the bad, and use that as a base for self-development. Because, you know what, the brutal fucking truth, no matter how much you pine for something, you can't change your beginnings. You cannot be reborn as somebody else. Now, I'm not saying that you're fine just as you are. You may need some serious work, and that's okay. Instead, the nuance lies in Adler's wisdom. Focus not on what you were born with. Rather, focus all of your energy on what you can make of it. And you'll know when you've done this right, because people don't seek solutions to problems they don't have. I've decided to meet myself where I'm at, play the cards I've been given in every part of life, and holy hell, it's been worth it.